I'm about to bet $3,000 on a horse because my AI sports betting bot told me to. Bro, no, 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 you should not do that. Bro, are you crazy? Why would you do that? I'm gonna do it. Hello world, it's Siraj. And did my horse racing bet actually win? We'll find out at the end of the video, but I used Wager GPT to make that bet. And in this video, I want to show you a demo of how WagerGPT has evolved in the past four weeks. We're now a 500 person strong community and it's closed for signups. But I still want to show you how it works, how it's improved and how profitable it's been because it's, signups are going to open up again in the future. So you might want to pay attention to this. WagerGPT is able to make predictions for seven leagues now. EPL, NFL, SHL, NHL, NBA, NCAA, NFL horse races, actually nine, tennis and NCAA B. So if I click on horse racing, it's gonna show me a list of all these horse races. Then I can pick a horse race and it's going to then show me a list of the horses, the jockeys that are playing, the date, the name of the track, as well as its top three predictions. We can now ask it for its bet suggestion where it's going to give us a bet type of bet to then place on this race. And once it gives us the bet suggestion, we can ask it follow-up questions like, why, what type of bet is that? Could you explain more? I don't know anything about horse racing. I can ask it uh, for more information. There's a lot more that I could do with it. But I also want to show you other predictions, not just horse racing, because the bot is really good at being able to make predictions across multiple different types of leagues. In the NBA, once we select a game, it's going to give us a whole data card full of information, betting odds, point spreads, over-unders, and it's going to predict a team to win using historical data. Then on top of that, we can ask for an AI bet suggestion, and it's going to incorporate even more real-time data, including odds, injuries, lineup changes, the weather, sports news. There's a lot of data there. Once it makes a bet suggestion, we can do the same thing. We can ask it more questions, ask follow-ups, etc. Now, one thing that's really cool about the NBA is that there's now player props. So if I am in a given match and I click on top five player props, WagerGPT is going to give us its top five player prop picks for the NBA. And uh, the bot actually self-improves through human feedback as well. So if we see something that we don't like, if we see a hallucination, we can tap the hallucination button. And the bot is self-improving over time through human feedback. So how profitable has WagerGPT really been? Anybody can go to the website and under reports, we can see weekly reports that are generated in Python by WagerGPT of its success. And from last week, we can see that WagerGPT had a 62.14 unit up win and a total of 23.76 ROI across all leagues. We can see charts, we can see data, we can see spreadsheets for every single sport. This is all publicly available. Now I want to share some of the wins that the community has had in the past 24 hours, which is like this morning. We see that Stan Lee C has won a five pick NBA parlay this morning using the new player props feature. Great job, Stan. We see that Thomas Lewis is up 3.3 units using Picket, and Ronnie Zilla is up 5.07 units in four days across NHL games. Great job, team. New betting strategies are emerging that involve AI, and we can see that discussion happening in the community that are incorporating techniques like prompting to avoid hallucinations with how to summarize the data with a large language model. These conversations have not happened in the betting prediction community before because this technology is all new. I just want to say that there's a lot of technical work that has gone into this. I've been working on this every single day since I launched the video four weeks ago, and it's been a lot of fun. I've learned a lot in the process in terms of, you know, how to deal with a production app and how to push features that users are demanding for, um, and just, you know, have that nice product user feedback cycle loop going where people suggest things, I improve the product, the product gets better, people like it more, better suggestions, etc. And there's a lot of future directions I want to take this in. We're going to have more leagues. We're going to have the ability to place bets in certain jurisdictions where it's legal. And we have 
full compliance for. And we're going to have a Wager GPT API contest available for anyone to participate in, with members, of course, getting priority exclusive access. So if you're interested in Wager GPT and you didn't get a chance to sign up in the past, sign up for the waitlist today. Let's see how my horse racing bets did, by the way. Yes! Oh! Oh! Yes! Yes! Thank you guys so much for watching. Smash the like button if you like the video. It's the thing that gets the video the most views, honestly. And for now, I've got to go keep making this bot super profitable for the members. So, thanks for watching.